My name is Musa Kresh. I am originally from Brooklyn, New York, and uh, both my parents are Palestinian. I became an actor to be a better director. That's the truth. I studied acting to just have an understanding as a director how to communicate with actors, other than just like what's on the page, but actually try to work with actors and get that performance that you, you see, like which some great directors who used to be actors, like Sidney Pollack. I just kind of fell into it, and then suddenly I started working more steadily as an actor, learning Shakespeare. You know, I feel like a kid at the candy store, just playing. So I want to play Othello, and I want to play Hamlet, and I would love to play Romeo, but I'm too old now. But you know, it's just, there's, there's so many stories in his plays and any character, it's like each character is there. They're like, it's like Star Wars. You could take any character in a Star Wars movie and make a movie about that character. It's the same thing with Shakespeare. You could take any character that's in his play and make that person the lead and have your own interpretation of where that story is gonna go. I was watching uh, Untouchables, which David Mamet wrote and Brian De Palma directed. And there's that scene in the end of Untouchables where Kevin Costner just won, you know? And Robert De Niro's character Capone is being pulled away. And the camera pulls out and they're in the courtroom and then you just see all these people like shouting and screaming. And this is 1987, I think, and that's not CGI, that's real people in this moment. And I'm, I'm watching this movie and I'm like, what was it like? being on this behind the camera as it's pulling out and you're seeing all these extras make this world come to life and the shouting and this, like the passion you could feel it just exploding off the screen and i was like i wish i could have just been an extra standing there in that crowd living that moment i would love to see a love story between like an American Palestinian and uh, American Jewish girl because they happen. But it's almost sacrilegious to bring up because then you suddenly are trying to tell a political story and I'm like, why can't it just be a simple love story? Why does it have to be political? Why do we have to throw ourselves in this world? You think about it, in the 80s, black cinema was like that. It was, it was starting to become the forefront when Spike Lee did Do the Right Thing. And now is the time where we have a chance, like as a, as a Middle Eastern filmmaker, it's my opportunity to be able to tell these stories that nobody ever thought would be told before. As an actor, I'm lucky enough that I'm not being typecast for those roles. I mean, you know, I don't play this, I, I don't play the terrorist, you know? I'm offered those roles, but I don't have to play those roles. But I could play, you know, a race car driver in like Fast and the Furious. I could play, um, a, a gay man who's in fashion and everything changes in time you know I don't know what's going to be 10 years down the line for actors of my color and my race you know hopefully it's going to be bigger and better actors like you know Ben Kingsley for example you know they're far and few between but that man's made a career of of being you know of Indian descent but you don't look at him and say, oh, Ben Kingsley's an Indian actor. It's like, it's Sir Ben Kingsley. The, guy, the guy's work is phenomenal. You know, I think that's what we have to start bringing to the table as actors who are from the Middle East is, is represent the work. Let the work speak for you so people see beyond what you look like. My sisters, for example, still wear, they wear the veil and then they wear it for like their own identity, like they're proud of that. They said that this is my identity, but when you hear them and you see them talk, they don't sound any different than like the Italian girls who were growing up in the neighborhood. They're like very westernized American women. I haven't seen that in, in film, and I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Just to be able to see somebody who's not the norm, you know? It's like seeing a Hasidic Jew who turns out to be a, a gangster. Because they look, they, to me, it's just there's comedy in that. There's life in that. Like, why not?